is called 85 Dyride Road, somewhere in Sweden, Earth. On March 7th, 2019, Iskal 85 released a video of himself opening a mysterious envelope that came in the mail. An elven penmanship, the message inside invited him to join forces with the architect group, the union between Green and Mamba Jamba on the Hermitcraft server. What he didn't know at the time is that him accepting this call will lay the foundation for the biggest, most redstone intense storefront on the server. My name is LoXP and today let's take a look at the full history of the Sahara project. Um, actually, this is Mumbo's chair. Is we're just gonna give you a little, we'll give you a little stool. There you are. That's that's your chair. You want a big chair? You gotta earn one. For those of you unaware, Sahara is a shop. It was dreamt up by Mamba Jumbo and Green shortly after the end of the Hermitcraft Civil War. The idea was to create one single storefront selling everything at a reasonable price. The name itself was supposed to be a play on Amazon store, though the silliness of it has been pointed out plenty in their comment section. Like for example, the visual of Sahara Desert really invokes the opposite of we have everything idea, or how Amazon itself is an online shop that delivers to your home, whereas Sahara is a building that you have to go to. Now people have been telling me like Amazon is called Amazon because of you know all the it's like A to Z and it's got loads of stuff in it but I feel like we can call it Sahara and just make sure we sell a lot of sand. The concept for how it should operate was more solid. From the customer's perspective it should be as simple as come in, open the chest, press Q on the items you want to purchase, press the button, wait one to two business days for the system to figure out what it's doing and receive everything you ordered in a convenient sequence of shulker boxes. Oh, does it work like that? <gasps> we got the full order! Naturally, the first thing they did on the road to the setup was drop a bunch of sand over Kapfan's base. Just, you know, to let him know that they're coming. We're not even in business yet and we're already doing stuff like this. So they've, they've gifted us thousands of sand, sand they desperately need to build up their shop themselves. Is that a smart business decision, Scar? I feel like they shot themselves in the foot. After the dominance was properly established, the architect trio started construction. Green was appointed to supervise the exterior construction and the interiors not occupied by machinery, whereas Mambo and Iskal were on the redstone duty. How, how hard is it, right, to just <laughs> center up? I'm gonna make the door two blocks bigger and then you guys can shush. And yes, all three place blocks to form the concrete walls of the store. It's just Green was the one giving out pointers. I it turned have out produced great. another sketch. Boom. There. Wow. Okay. Okay. Whew. The redstone in process did not get such synergy to it. And then, and then when it comes to doing the redstone, you can just tell me what to do, no, and no, I will go no, and no, I'm okay. gonna no, I'm no, gonna do no, all of the no, placing no, of the no, redstone no, and the, no, the no, observers no, and no 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 no. Can you hear me? Still saying no, even though Pistons. I'm getting further away. No, no. no. Alas, the build was finished way before the mechanical parts, and the group now had a bigger threat to deal with: Green, who was bored. The shenanigans rapidly escalated from dancing with parrots in the background to dropping his co-workers into the void. Okay. Shut up! Oh, no, good, for goodness sake! There we go, there we go. No, You're an idiot! Oh, for <laughs> that! Is this a secondary? Is this, Am I in a sub infinity room? <laughs> a new infinity. <laughs> Thankfully, he eventually preoccupied himself by reporting on Concorp's pollution and taking bread for Homescraft recap. Yeah, Sahara News was a thing, but while their ability to get high profile celebrities is impressive, I stand by that you cannot call yourself a proper Hermitcraft news organization unless you offer an extensive coverage of Joe Hills. That man is a national treasure. The Sludge of Nature, by the way, ended up attracting Rand Bob the Hippie and started his own whole thing that honestly deserves its own retrospective at this point. Sahara, in the meantime, grew stronger as its redstone units took shape. First and foremost, it needed to store the stock, but more importantly, be able to dispense it into a water stream in previously specified amount. This is something Mamba Jamba developed, and together with Fiscal, they filled the warehouse portion of the build with 40 of those. As the resources ran out, the goal started slowly to shift from get all the diamonds in the world to maybe break even someday. That's where the gang encountered another problem. The original plan was to have the amount specified by buttons located on the user interface. The user interface that was 50 blocks away from the warehouse. This meant that they needed to establish 50 independent redstone lines dragging for 50 blocks each. That's at least 50 blocks wide, I mean. 
That's this entire plaza. Or revision the whole thing, which is what Iskall did. The lamps over the chest still came in handy later as a progress bar informing the customer of what stage the processing of their order is in. And the solution to the 50 block problem was found by just moving the decoding sequence all the way back, you know, under the warehouse. So now the absolute behemoth of mechanical marvels that was the decoder and the storage system were hiding a mile away from its humorously tiny face. Like an incredibly buff giraffe. Not much was left to do. Only gather all the shulker boxes ever and also agree on the logo to represent the company. Mostly because the Concourse one was really fancy and they were really jealous of the time. And of course they've put a bumble on it. Why wouldn't they? Oh yeah, sorry, that, that's, actually a, that's actually a graph of our growth. Sorry. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> Here, here's the logo. Boom. Oh, wow. nice. That's like so much better. By that point, however, Village and Pillage update caught up to the Hermitcraft server. And walking on anything redstone became nigh impossible because of the observers lagging out in early version of the update and other growing pains. As the Hermit kind established Hermitville, their 1.14 camp to wait out the bugs in, Green, Mabo, Iskal and Stress Monster happened to claim houses for themselves, one right next to each other, forming the Sahara and Stress is also there street. A new town presented a new opportunity. With the whole group now far away from home, most will prefer to part with some of their diamonds instead of having to go all the way back to their bases and grabbing stuff from them. So came to be Sahara Express. A convenience store at the outpost where convenience is really the key word. As overpaying a bit for basic resources is still more convenient than traveling out to the mainland which is like thousands blocks away. Yes, this looks really good. Now there isn't a whole lot of space, I gotta be honest, there isn't a whole lot of space to put down the actual shop. But I think that's kind of par part of the char charm, to be honest. Which is why it was completed really quickly, went into business and easily started raking in diamonds. If that store remains forever more profitable than the actual Sahara, I will not be surprised. Finally, Mamba Jamba and Iskal met up for an examination of the mechanism and concluded the final tests to see what works, what's broken and where this is going. That worked! <laughs> so we actually have a system? We, can we do a high five? Hang on, hang on. Yes. And... and pow. Ah, oh, I missed you. Together they concluded that Sahara is indeed brilliant, which did not mean that it was walking, which should have been clarified to Green, because as it turns out, Sahara was not brilliant enough to survive a baked potato thrown in it. Wait, wait, Someone it, must have thrown it, something in the system. Anything. Anything. I, I have not. Anything. I have not. By the second lamp means that it's failed. No, it's found a decoder and then it's failed to shoot out the Schalke box. That's weird. So it must have been an item that it wasn't in the system. What the? So heck? you're telling me that it's broken? Well, no, it was no, not broken, it's, it's just... It's just someone sent an item in that shouldn't be sent in to the system. Oh, that's um, not good. On one hand, why would you do that? On the other, if the system is that easy to break, Green has a point. Obviously an adjustment is needed, because the customers cannot be trusted. I heard you guys had finished Look, from okay. the tech report, so I was like, oh, you know. So how we, didn't is say, we didn't yeah. say finish, we said brilliant. See you in three months. <laughs> <laughs> get back here and get that potato out of the machine. After Green and his snack were reunited once more and the unsanitized inputs were accounted for, the store was very much ready to open. And just in time too, as a line of armor stand customers was already camping out at the entrance. Yes! Oh my goodness! The honor of being the first customer, however, went to Randog, who they nearly blew up when cutting the ribbon. This is why traditionally it's not done with dynamite. As is to be expected by this point, the purchase didn't go to plan either. The system ate up the order, but only receipts made it into the mail. So the Amazon experience is true to form, I see. <laughs> where, where are my goods? Go, that's General. Sahara in a nutshell. You get, you get okay. charged for things that don't actually arrive. Here's, here's my idea. We kill him, okay, we bury him, get rid of him, make him disappear. We have enough money, we're fine, okay? I think that sounds a bit harsh, to be honest. But a couple of tweaks and an assassination attempt later, Ren was once again invited to shop and even got away with a beacon for just one diamond because somebody forgot to adjust the prices to the actual ones. I yeah. think I'm gonna get some well, more beacons if that's okay. No, 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 But what really matters is that the purchase went through, which means that the store was now functionally complete and open for business. And that's where it stands at the moment of me making this video. 
All things considered, the road ahead is no less complicated than the one behind them. It's one thing to open the store, it's another entirely to keep it stocked. A shop that sells everything is also a shop in competition with everyone. So between Concorp owning half the Monopoly board and other hermits hoping to score some diamonds themselves, Sahara really will be an uphill battle. Unlike Concorp, however, Sahara has more than just redstone farms backing it up. Behind the scenes of the redstone tomfoolery, Iskal has already started establishing connections in the market, willing to bring first monster in, to agree to sell ice at the reasonable price, and even Exuma as a reliable provider of wither roses. Will it stand the test of the market, or is it truly a project too big to even break even on the materials spent? Only time will tell. But what it truly is, is a technical achievement, even if an incredibly convoluted one. And that's pretty much it for the Sahara so far. My name has been Zloyx, but this has been Hermitcraft Recap. In the end cut theater today is that time I attempted to force Hermit coin onto a server I play on. So that's a fine disaster too. To be continued, have a good one. Bye bye.